this process is literally the process that I used to go from making zero dollars in real estate. Um, I spent $10,000 in direct mail and I was like, something's wrong here. I adjusted, I revamped it and I kicked back off using this exact strategy in my first quarter, I did 250 grand. I'm not saying that you're gonna end up doing the same thing. I'm just saying that it was the, the, the catalyst that I needed in order for me to get out of my W-2 and start focusing on the things that I wanted to focus on, which included building REI SIF and, and kind of where we're at today as a company, okay? So what I wanna cover first is how many people market right now, right? Um, this is like the atypical, what you're seeing out there, you're saying, okay, get data right away, just you know, skip trace it immediately, then market to it in one form or fashion, whether it's direct mail, cold calling, whatever, you just throw it in a dialer. And then that's gonna spit out some leads uh, and you just repeat that process. You just end up buying more data, you end up skip tracing that data. And what happens is, is what you're doing, where's my pen? What you're doing here, hopefully this doesn't mess up our recording here, um, but you're basically creating a recurring cost here that's not needed, recurring cost here. And that could be, if you're doing 10,000 new records a month right now in your company, you know, at 10,000 records, 15 cents a piece, that's $1,500 a month that you've just added and committed to because of the process. And it's not even that it's actually the right way to do it. You're just doing it because oh, that's the process. Got to get 10,000 records, got to skip trace it. I'm going to spend the money and I got to cold call them. And you get, you get locked in to the figures right? But what you should really be doing is being like, okay, cool. I got data. I got phone numbers already. Who have I reached? Who have I not reached? I'm going to cover that. But this, this is a trap. This whole recurring cost on skip tracing is a trap. And trust me, we have, I have a skip tracing company, right? Like REI SIF has skip tracing built into it. So I love when people, you know, continue to skip trace, but I only love when they do it the right way, which I'm going to teach you guys, uh, which actually on the REI SIF YouTube channel, uh, we'll put the link in the description of the video that we just released of the full guide on skip tracing. Okay. After you do that, you start marketing. And the big mistake you make on marketing is that, well, you, you just do once or you, maybe you do it twice. Maybe you do it up to five times. That's why I got this little, you know, one, two, three, four, five hash slash, whatever that's called ticker marks. Um, and, and that's great. I'm glad that you're doing it multiple times. But the problem is, is that when you're marketing every single time that you go from second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, you're sending the same original data that you skip traced in, and you're literally going and hitting the same numbers every single time. And that should not be true. There should be a large amount of phone numbers that are being removed from your marketing sequence and only the people you have not reached, only the phone numbers you have not reached should be attempted a second, third, fourth, and fifth time. But a lot of people don't have a process or a system around being able to efficiently do that. Um, so what ends up happening is they continue again to increase, not only they're spending mark, uh, money on skip tracing every single month, but they're also re-spending it on time, which is our most valuable asset in our business, remarketing to dead numbers, wrong numbers, DNC numbers, because they don't have a really efficient way. And even if they're like, oh no, well my cold calling platform, right? My call tools or my Zen call or whatever, it, it allows me to, to recycle and I don't hit it. Okay, okay, cool. Well, after you start finish cold calling and you switch over to SMS with that list, how do you get all that information from Zen call into your SMS platform? Because now you're going to SMS all those. So now you're going to, you know, end up re you know texting seven or eight numbers that you already know are wrong dead or whatever so that's a problem your lead management okay we're going to get in lead management let's go ahead and move on to how you need to implement into your business okay so we're going from four steps to, to seven steps it's not that much more it's three extra steps it's not super complicated all right but what we have to do is we have to have data come into our company and then we're going to clean that data because when, before we, you know, if we're going to be spending money on skip tracing every single month, we might as well work to try to make sure that that skip tracing is going as far as possible, right? We're saving as much money as possible. Situations like, you know, incomplete data where it's missing first names or it's an LLC or it's, you know, just the first initial. Um, there's lots of different variables that to consider as incomplete data. Um, check out the REI SIF YouTube channel. And if you go to the, um, the series, the playlist inside that channel, we'll put it in, again in the description below. Um, there is a playlist for the Ninja Level 1 cert, which talks about what incomplete data is. Um, check out that video if you're confused on what incomplete data is, okay? 
But essentially, all you want is that clean data, that data that we um, that we want to skip trace, which are actually full addresses. Okay, full addresses, so that we can make sure and that you know we're getting our, our, our results that we want. Okay, so we're going to take those full addresses. We're going to skip trace it. Okay. Um, and there's a whole other process with skip tracing. Again, watch that video that I talked about earlier in the marketing guide in the description. Um, then what we're going to do is after we skip trace it, we're going to filter by the top 1%, the top 1% of, of that data. So let's just say we have 10,000 records, okay? And we skip trace all 10,000. Out of that 10,000 records, there's going to be a top 1%. There's going to be situations where some of them are vacant. There's going to be situations where there's out-of-state homeowners. There's going to be situations where there's a zip code we want to focus on primarily, like it's the hottest zip code or the hottest community. We want to narrow down to the top 1%, the places and the people that we know we can solve their problem, and the places and the people that we know are locations which our buyers or even ourselves love to do flips because we know that the end buyer, the, the, the market buyer, after that flip is finished, loves to be in that neighborhood, okay? Filtered down by the 1%. Typically, um, th that's the top three identifiers, like I said a little bit earlier. And in the link in the description, again, I'm, there's tons of resources in the, in the description. You can watch what we call the data priority pyramid video uh, over on REI SIF's YouTube channel. And that talks about tier one, tier two, and tier three data. Um, and that 1% lives inside that tier one data in addition to our leads, okay? So filter those out. And you're gonna follow what's called the Sensei flow, okay? We actually have a full diagram. You literally give this to a VA and they can execute it exactly on this process. Uh, like just by looking at this diagram and watching this SOP, it's a full thing, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, the link for that will be in the description below as well. You're gonna do the Sensei flow to this 1% of data, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna go up to that tier two data. Okay, again, <laughs> data priority video. And um, you're gonna start marketing to those in bulk, okay? This could be through SMS, it could be through cold call, it could be RVM, it could be direct mail. And you're gonna take that, and that's gonna be the other, let's just say if the top 1% of your 10,000 records is like you know, 100 records or whatever, okay? So you're gonna take the other 9,900, okay? And you're gonna throw those into a, a cold calling platform. Let's just choose cold calling as in our example, okay? And you're gonna start bulk dialing those. Remember before up here, I said that you're not tracking your numbers. You're remarketing to the same numbers, but we're not gonna do that here, okay? What we're gonna do is as we market to the bulk, we're gonna send that back and we're gonna update our data, okay? If it's a wrong phone number, we're gonna update that phone number as wrong number. If it's a dead number, we're gonna update as dead number. We're gonna make sure that we're updating our records real time. If it converts to a lead, we wanna update it as a lead so that our lead manager can you know, take care of it. We're gonna make sure that we're updating the results, okay, so that we can recycle our campaigns properly. So as we're marketing to, let's say, those 9,900 records, okay, we're gonna have an attempt one, an attempt two, attempt three, attempt four, attempt five, and so on. And let's just say we start off with, if it's 10,000 records, maybe we start off with 30,000 phone numbers, okay? So it's gonna be 30,000 numbers here. But when we move down to this, it might only be 20,000 numbers because we could have had 3,000 dead numbers. You know, um, there's gonna be a ton of no answers which are gonna be wrapped up in those 20,000 as well, but there's gonna be a ton of wrong numbers. There's gonna be a ton of information that we don't wanna market to again, which ultimately is gonna make our KPIs more accurate because what happens is you start marketing, you go through a list once, you go through a list twice, and if you're not tracking it properly and you're not removing out like the dead numbers and everything, what ends up happening is you're, you're like, why is my dialers, like my cold callers, they're sitting like for an hour before getting a connection. You start blaming call tools, but it's because the phone numbers that you have in the system are literally all dead numbers. So as they're sitting there, they're just waiting to get connected to a correct number, right? Um, there's a lot of issues with that. So you got to make sure you remove that so that it heightens our chances that we're going to be getting connections um, and we're not sitting there for no reason or when we do get a connection, it's not the same wrong number that we marketed to last month or we're wasting that time and really annoying those individuals who really, to be honest with you, shouldn't be annoyed, okay? Um, or bothered over and over, okay? So as we continue, the third attempt, it might go down to 15,000, right? The fourth attempt, it might go down to, let's say 12,000, okay? And the fifth attempt, now we're down and we've reached, and it's only at like 11,000 now. So as you continue to market, you're gonna recognize that you're getting in contact with less people, 
okay? And that's where people start getting frustrated. That's where people start thinking that something's wrong in their marketing, which isn't wrong. They are, there is something wrong with your marketing. Uh, it's because you don't know what these 11,000 phone numbers are. That's what's wrong, okay? And you don't know who these 11,000 are, because out of those 11,000, really that's gonna result into about 5,000 prospects, right? The good news is, is because you're doing this, because you're targeting the 1% already, the most valuable individuals, you've already figured out if you reached them or not. Because they're, they're already down here and they've already been marketed to. Those 100 people, you know, that um, are the top neighborhood, the top prospects, the hottest prospects out of those 10,000, you have already called them, you've already texted them, you've already RVM'd them, you've already sent direct mail, you've already left voicemails, and you know exactly out of those 100 records who it is you did not reach and who it is you did. Okay, so all that means is that now we gotta decide, well, what do we do with these 5,000? Do we continue to go uh, up to another 10 times? Do we go all the way to attempt 10? And then do we re-skip trace them? What do we do next? Okay, and that's where the analysis comes in. That's only something you gotta decide because if you don't wanna do SMS and you only wanna continue cold calling, then the answer would be, well, let me, let me go ahead and re-skip trace them at a separate provider um, and just go through this whole cycle all over again, okay? Or do I want to go ahead and take all the mobiles from those, you know, 5,000 prospects, uh, the 11,000 phone numbers, and I want to send all those mobile numbers to an SMS platform so that I can go ahead and go through this whole, se you know, sequence, but through SMS. Um, really, that's something that only you can decide. And of course, at REI Sift, um, if you guys utilize REI Sift to make this possible, which you truly should. Um, what you should do is um, you should, you know, for this flow be on the business plan so it can all be, you know, really efficient. You can use the integrations and the APIs to make it super, um, you know, automated. Um, and, and you can schedule strategy calls with us, you know, once a month. And, um, and we can talk about what's going on in your business so that we can figure out the right strategy for your company. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, that's always something where you're marketing in the middle, you're not focusing on the front side and you're not focused on the back side. But if you adjust it and focus on that front side, I don't know if that's front or back for you. If you for me, it's the front side. If you focus on the front side, what's gonna happen is it's gonna refine everything. You're gonna catch up. You're, you're from the middle to the front are gonna be perfect. You got processes, you got systems, it's beautiful. Um, but then you're lacking back here. You don't have what's gonna happen between the data after you've you know, marketed to it multiple times and what happens when you get new data, okay? Um, so that typically needs to be kind of buttoned up a little bit. And so we need to keep it as a priority in something we're doing in our business so we can continue to become more profitable. Because ultimately, all we're truly doing as we market is we're truly just trying to get leads. Leads and correct numbers. Okay? Because what's going to happen with our correct numbers, like for example, not interested. Okay? what did we do? The whole reason we skip trace them is to try to get the correct number, right? And everybody doesn't think about it like that. They don't think about the fact like, okay, I'm literally marketing to get correct numbers. That's it. I'm trying to make it to where I don't have to spend money any longer to know that that's the person that I need to be talking to. Um, so really you're marketing for correct numbers. And the byproduct, the byproduct to having a correct number is that you get to introduce your offer to this individual, which ultimately is to buy their house, uh, which is in which case they convert to either a lead or are not interested. So if we focus on trying to figure out how do we get correct numbers, how would we figure out who we're not reaching so that we can try to find that correct number, we can create a system in our business where we have a whole pool of a ton of correct numbers. And you wanna know something amazing about that? Once you unlock the proper way to market in your business, that is super valuable. Like imagine right now if I came to you and said, hey, I see you're in Dallas or Houston or wherever, whatever market you're in and I have, I have 10,000 correct numbers, verified correct numbers to the homeowner. We called, we spoke to them, we know they own that property. I will sell you that information. How much would you pay for it? Guarantee correct numbers. So you don't gotta worry about you know, the cold calling and going through like, do you, do you own that property? Or do you not own that property? You can skip that whole process and you can literally just say, hey, I know you own this property. I was just curious if you want to sell it. That simple. Like, I know you're the owner. And you can literally just follow, follow up with them forever. Like, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Like, wouldn't it? If it was that simple, I mean, you would buy that all day, right? And so that's why we market is to produce that. And yet people don't focus on their data, which is the most valuable things to create leads. And then you don't even focus on your leads properly because what you do is you forfeit it to automations. 
As soon as they get a lead, oh, you're not interested in selling right now? Okay, what is it, six months from now, you'd be interested? Okay, cool, um, I'm gonna just, imagine if you told the seller, it's like, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw you in an automation. Uh, we'll probably, like, you'll get an automatic text in like, you know, maybe like four days or so, just to check to see if, you know, maybe you are interested. Like, you throw it in automations and said, if someone's having a conversation with you and they're communicating with you, if they splint, you know, blatantly say, hey, I don't wanna sell for like six months from now, then cool, like, I'll create a task and I'll call them in, in 45 days from now, but I'm not gonna have some, automated text message go out in 45 days from now, I'm just gonna have the task created. Okay, my lead man, that's why I pay a lead manager. If everything is automated and a system is doing everything, why the hell do we pay lead managers to begin with, right? Like that's their job. Their job is to understand and nurture and build leads, build relationships, okay? So don't forfeit it to an automation right away. If they're gonna have a conversation with you, let the conversation happen. That doesn't mean you let them talk your ear off for 45 minutes about their life problems, but it means that we're gonna continue to nurture that. And you're gonna use, you guessed it, the Sensei flow, the same exact flow you do with your top 1%, because guess what? Out of your data, your leads are your top 0.001%. They're the most and most and most important. But for whatever reason, you know, um, in order, you don't want to focus on how to properly get these. And then you give it up to a, a system to automatically send a text message, you know, in order to, uh, to follow up with those. And I'm not saying that there's not a time and place for that, um, but more than likely, there's a huge chance that your business is not in that place, okay? Um, because even the largest of corporations, Salesforce, HubSpot, and these other, you know, individuals do massive business of business, you know, clients, hundreds of thousands of customers, they all have, you guessed it, customer reps, and you guessed it, they call and they manually follow up and they make sure that they understand the customer that they have and that they are responsible for. Um, and only with you know, certain things like reminding for to call and to these different tasks, are they automated? Now they do have some email automations and stuff like that as well, um, which you can, but again, that's for the more periodic things, okay? Now, the ultimate goal here, more money, high ROI, accuracy, and ultimately to gain more insight on you being able to produce more results for less, higher ROI, net profits, so that you can put more money in your back pocket and you streamline this operation. And so um, to summarize, stop doing this, stop just buying data, creating and making a commitment to spend money every single month on skip tracing to people who you probably don't need to. You should only be skip tracing, you know, those that you should, you know, show and identify that should be skip traced to begin with. Stop just marketing and not tracking the results of that down to the phone number, especially in your bulk marketing and your direct mail, by the way. Um, and then your lead management needs to be buttoned up. It needs to be focused. Like if you're calling and you have inbounds coming in as well, how many of those calls are solicitors? Okay. The crazy thing is that the document that I give you guys in the Sensei flow, and link in the description below, the document for that has the KPI tracker for lead managers as well as the KPI tracker for the Sensei flow. Um, and it's, it's literally like the lifeblood of your business. Um, and so build ultimate clarity and figure out how you can get more correct numbers. What is your correct number to dial ratio? How many, how many dials do I need to make to get a correct number? And how many correct numbers does it take to get revenue in my company? Okay, how many people do I have to talk to? Verified correct individuals for me to be able to make money, okay? And then how many times do I need to follow up with those correct numbers in order to get another conversion, okay? Um, stop forfeiting. Utilize tasks. RSF has an amazing task system uh, and it's amazing for your lead management. It's amazing for you building out the operations and the process for your company. RSF is quite literally the coupon to your company is gonna save you tons of money. You just gotta implement it. You just gotta not make excuses on why it is that this is not the right way because everybody likes to, likes to say that, oh, well, that's not the right way. Like you, if you can give me a reason, then fantastic. If you're willing to accept that you're willing to have less money, then okay, I'll accept that. If you're willing to accept it, but I can guarantee that the truth is that you know, um, if you're an operation that's doing a ton of cold calling right now, um, and you're like, eh, f it, I'm just gonna buy more data. I'm just gonna continue to smash, 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 smash. Um, you will end up over time. You will end up paying to gain that insight back because there is only so many property addresses inside your market. There's only so many. Um, if you buy 10,000, 50,000 every single month, you will run out of data to buy. 
Even if you were a massive organization and you ended up getting all the addresses inside of the United States of America, you will run out of addresses. You'll run out of markets. You will end up coming back to do this process. I, I guarantee it. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to focus on what are you building? Okay, is this something that you're building as a company that's gonna you know, feed my children for years to come, 10, 15, 20 years? Or is this something I'm doing just to make a bag? Okay, if you're looking to just make a bag, then you know, smash it and, and hey, I, I spend $2,000, I make $5,000, whatever your KPI is, I don't know. Um, but I would rather refine and build something that's legit to where I can have five people on my team, I can make good money, and uh, I can scale that as large as I humanly want. We have, you know, um, on the REI SIF side, you know, and in, in the Allies Mastermind, we have people doing hundreds of deals a year and they follow this process. If you right now are doing a ton of cold calling and you know, uh, you're not doing you know, hundreds of deals a year, um, imagine, imagine what they're spending on marketing versus what you are. Um, I can tell you that it's actually not very much. Okay, people is the most expensive thing in your business. It should be the most expensive thing in your business. Good people, good people that will execute on the things that you need to execute on and execute on the tasks that you have assigned to them without you having to remind them every single day. As long as you have good people and you follow the processes right, that I'm giving you for free, I promise you you're gonna have results, um, but don't come to me and sue me if you don't, because there's a good chance you're just sucking at it, okay? So let's not suck at it, let's do it the right way. I appreciate you guys, thank you so much. If this was valuable to you, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, um, make sure you look at the links in the description, the Sensei Flow video, I'm not going to bore you guys with hopping into REI SIF and trying to show you guys everything. Like I've already done all that content. Watch that video. Watch the data priority video. Um, start with implementing the Sensei Flow process. And if you're doing bulk marketing right now, you can integrate um, with uh, outbound integrations in there. You can, um, you can receive inbounds from those integrations and a bunch of other stuff. But um, schedule an onboarding call if you enter in the business plan uh, and we'll get you set up. We'll get you rocking and rolling, give you, give you advice. And then... Uh, um, other than that, we're all allies here, right? Our, our objective is, you know, that allies, you know, win wars, right? There's no war that's ever been won um, solo. We've always, they've always needed allies, and that's the reason why the war was won with allies. It's with with creating relationships and people, um, and that's what what I care about. Um, so comment below. Let me know how I can help you, and uh, let's keep pressing forward. Okay. See you guys in the next video. Peace.